Make it through at least six hands, I think. Raiden, how are you feeling? Feeling pretty relaxed. Are you? Does last night, does last night help you guys? Yep. For sure. Yeah, we got to feel this twice. Yeah, and you've gotten to feel it three times in the last month. Yeah. Correct. So yeah. I mean, you guys are both, you know, used to the lights, used to the camera. This isn't this isn't new territory. Nope. Just gotta shoot shoot the bow and hit the middle. Sounds, it sounds a lot easier than it is. Lucky dog, how are you feeling? Well, I'm obviously a little nervous being my first big time shoot off. So yeah. Just have to take it all in and hope it goes well. I just wish I could find one place that has everything I need in archery. Is that too much to ask? Dad, just go to LancasterArchery.com. They have everything. Landon! I am just a baby. Just a baby. What's going on, Junkies? We are here at the World Archery Festival, and it has been a crazy few days. We've been here for a couple days. We got it for practice, and then, of course, there were the three rounds. The videos that we're kind of bringing you for the first couple of rounds of coverage where we especially uh, mic'd up a couple of the pros, Jeremy Beard, Rio Wild, and then Matt Stutzman on the final day. So that's kind of the coverage of what we brought you kind of for the first couple of rounds and what you expected. But now it's time for the dance. It's time for the show. This is the World Archery Festival, the largest indoor tournament in the world. And we have 13 archers, I believe. Is that right, Steve? 13 and a lucky dog. 13 and a lucky dog that have made it into the big show that shot those perfect 900s. And, of course, Mark Gruber is going to be joining them with the lucky dog competition. But what we're going to do is we're going to bring you coverage kind of like we did last year. Mr. Steve Anderson here, the big cat, is going to be working uh, with Papa Junkie in the bullpen. And they're going to be catching all the reaction of the archers as they go through the shoot down to give you that close, intimate feel to see what it's like to be here in the big dance. So I'm going to turn the microphone over to the big cat, and he's going to take you the rest of the way. I have been engineered to be launched from today's high-performance shooting equipment. I must withstand and deliver over 80 foot-pounds of energy, shot after shot after shot. 
powering through hide, flesh, and even bone. From the tournament trail to the trail head, when I return to my quiver, I'm still straight. I am Gold Tip, the toughest arrow you will ever shoot. So we got some guys over there who obviously have never done this before. I can't say what's going through their head because I've never done it before either, but I bet it's a lot of mixed uh, mixed emotions amongst them. Some probably feeling a lot of excitement, some maybe some nervousness. Uh, we got some guys over there like Rio, obviously, who have not only been here, but they've won it three times. Um, well, he's the only one who has, but there's some other guys who have been here a time or two as well. So, um, and yeah, we've got... We got uh, Scott Starnes, Levi Morgan. Those are guys who could definitely win it. And then we got some new guys, uh, Sebastian Pinot from France, who has had a, just a heck of a weekend. Shot super hot all weekend. Won the World Cup final on Saturday night, and uh, maybe he's the wild card. Who knows? There, there's a there's a handful of guys who can win. Certainly, every one of them can just get nasty and pound. So, be uh, eager to see how it plays out. You've got a tough choice. Do you shoot Mr. Big Daddy or shoot Mr. Freak Nasty? Do you shoot the mind-blowing, industry-leading carbon spider or shoot the heart-pounding, high-performance aluminum factor? So which one do you shoot? Two choices, two right answers. <laughs> Lucky you. If you hear that uh, commotion behind you, it looks like we've got Kevin Wilkie, Brady Ellison tossing out some Hoyt hats. Um, I actually see grown men tackling each other in an attempt to catch a, uh, a ball cap there. Peter Ellison is looking good. Um, typically a normal guy to see in a shoot off. He, uh, he, he didn't get in there this year. So there's Peter there. Give us a wave, Peter. Give us a wave. He can't actually hear me. I'm just telecommunicating with him. <laughs> Here goes Kevin. You can see he's got an arm full of lids, and this place is about to get out of hand. And Brady's, Brady's getting the goal. Oh, the crowd is going wild. Oh, that grown man just snatched a cap from an old gal. Excuse me, an elderly lady. We could, we could see the Montana boys right there. We got uh, on the right side, Paul. Paul's giving us a wave. He's in the Hoyt jersey. Just smoked a 30X today with 22 size arrows. Next to him, Josh Seeley, uh, one of the best follows on Facebook. And then to his left, we've got Aaron Tedford, uh, Paul's brother, and also a, a man of mystery. And then to the left of him is Norm Larson. You may know him from Knockout TV. If you don't know Dean, the man behind the camera, he does all the photography uh, for World Archery, does a lot of the stuff over here as well. Uh, man probably has more sky miles than your car has miles. Uh, probably does that every year. But he's, uh, he's a good guy from the Netherlands. We're going to get Dean on the mic here. Dean, Dean, tell us about what you do. I'm uh, the official World Archery photographer. Uh, I'm right here uh, sitting with Steve. Just waiting for things to go down, and uh, we're gonna see what's what's cooking. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Give us your uh, give us your prediction here. What's uh, what's your one, two, three? Well, uh, PJ Delos, unfortunately, isn't in anymore, but he's got a good guy in uh, Sebastian Pinot to keep the honors of the French high. So I'm gonna go for uh, Sebastian Pinot. Uh, Logan has been shooting strong all weekend, so Logan will be a good second. And I think uh, Chris Chef is going to go for a big surprise here. Okay.
So we're bringing him in here, Mark Gruber. Coming in as the lucky dog. Looks like he will be shooting on target number. Oh, he overshot it there. They have him in no particular order. He's going to be on 144 on the far end. So he's the only one to make it in with an 899. Montana boy Rob Morgan coming in. I believe this is three years straight for him. You see his people getting wild here. So Rob, I, I do believe this is his third year straight, but very good shooter, very calm on the line. Hey, you just heard it there, the, the Sultan of Smooth, Sergio Pagni. He is the godfather of archery. Um, I don't think there's anyone in this building who doesn't like him. From a, <laughs> He's from Italy. And here's the young guy, Stephen Hansen from Denmark. Uh, yeah, junior world champion and indoor world record holder in a FIDA event. I believe 599. And here's our boy, Logan Wild. First time in 10 years he's made the shoot off. Everyone's pumped for him. So we know he can get hot and he can get rolling. Let's see if he can get it started right from the beginning. Uh, next one we got here is Matt Sullivan from Utah. Uh, he lives down by me. Uh, shoots a little bit with Henry and I and Logan. So he's a he's a guy who I regularly see pound out 300s. Um, you know, would would he? In, in all honesty, would I pick him to shot a 900? No, but I, at the same time, I'm not super surprised. So now we're rolling into Sebastian Pino. Um, he's the one who we've been talking about, been shoot, shooting super hot, uh, just having himself a good weekend. Got the World Cup final win last night and see if he can keep it going. And now Richard Potter, who he's been strong all year. Um, kind of a veteran, been doing this a long time, probably not gonna get too rattled here. He's a guy who, you know, if he gets past the third in, could be dangerous. Next up, taking second in the line chapter classic. Would only pay the comparison if he takes it tonight. It's Scott Starnes, the NFL Classic Championship. Scott Starnes, a definite crowd favorite here. Uh, again, he's another guy. You, you can't not like him. He's had a great year, I believe, third at Lancaster. He, he uh, won Presley's, um, took the Midwest Open crown. Now, backing up, Chris Schaff's getting a, a standing ovation. He's got his people behind him. Chris Schaff from Montana, uh, also from Billings, Montana, shoots with Rob Morgan all the time. So you can see where there's some talent there. Now here's here's one of my podium picks, Levi Morgan. Probably doesn't need much of an introduction. Brandon Galantine coming in. Got himself a second place finish at World Cup final last night. Uh, always, always a super strong shooter. Seems like he's been on every FIDA podium this year. Let's we'll see if he can make it happen here today. And Rio coming in uh, out of this group. He and Mikey Schlosser are tied with the highest X count. Obviously, he's been here and won this three times. He's a pretty solid contender. I don't think many people would bet against him. And then final competitor, Mike Schlosser, outdoor world champion, a uh, kid who can just get on it and not miss. Uh, he, he's actually taken me to the cleaners twice this year in head-to-head -head matches. So, you know, I, I would not be surprised to see him keep it rolling. Okay, so they're getting a, a little last-minute players meeting, I guess you'd call it. Um, giving them the... Uh, Last little breakdown of what's going to go down. So they're going to take a couple practice ins before we go into regular Vegas scoring. So Jason's going to get us a little up close and personal on what's happening here. Probably a lot of energy going through those guys right now. Their legs are probably feeling like jello. <laughs> 